let's introduce ourselves to the concepts of ibernet and or any software consists of programming language for business processing and presentation while most of them make use of relational database for storing or persisting data since the advent of object oriented programming language it has been used most for business processing as well as presentation even though at the start of development both the object oriented programming language and relational database look same but as the system evolves both of them change drastically thus we are left out with a problem of mapping between the changes of object oriented programming language and relational database following are some of the differences between object oriented programming language and relational database as we know inheritance and polymorphism are one of the best features supported by object oriented programming language using this helps in code reducing code redundancy as well as dynamic binding but the concept of inheritance and polymorphism are not supported in relational world identification of objects in object world is quite different from identification of tuples or elements in database as a result a confusion might arise on which to use and how there can also be association differences between tables and objects mostly with respect to tables one to many or many to one relationship are used while in object world mostly many to many relationships are used as a result there can be differences between the associations in both these worlds binding both the models is not an easy job currently to bind these two models jdbc odbc drivers are used by using these drivers a query has to be created and by executing the same we get result set which again represents a table like format in the java world reading from this result set and then creating models or objects in object oriented programming language is not an easy job especially if the tables are regularly updated to solve the discuss problem oodb and oodb came in front oodb stands for object oriented database while oodb stands for object relational database in the case of oodb a programming language that is oo programming language is mainly extended with database features that is we had features like automaticity persistence to object oriented programming language thus given us both the benefits of oo and relational db on the other hand in the case of oodb we extend the relational database to provide us oo features like inheritance and polymorphism object relational model extends these features of oodb and oodb an object relational model is a tool or techniques to store and retrieve objects from database that is from a coding perspective it behaves like a virtual object database and not a relational database that is a relational database which stores data in the form of rows and columns thus in the case of object relational model whenever a query is executed the result will be in the form of an object thus enabling object oriented programming languages programmers to perform better ibernet is a java orm that is object relational mapping framework 
for enabling transparent persistence using plain old Java objects. Shown are some of the Hibernate features. Hibernate makes persistent transparent to the end user. It supports a variety of object querying capabilities by introducing its own query language known as HQL and criteria. It also has support for named queries and even support for native SQL queries in case that is required. It supports caching that, that is storing of objects in case it has to be used again. The level of caching supported is much better as compared to other tools. As told earlier, Hibernate works with fine grained plain old Java objects. It supports most of the databases by using the concept of dialect. Let's get started with Hibernate in which we will try to understand the various components present within Hibernate and also we will see an example on how to develop an application using Hibernate by using Eclipse IDE.